In this video you are going to learn total productive maintenance. Topics I have covered in this video are, what is total productive maintenance? How total productive maintenance works? 5S methodology, 8 pillars of total productive maintenance, and advantages of total productive maintenance. Let's start the video. Maintenance and reliability workers are always striving for perfect production, this is very difficult since unexpected problems arise even in the best planned facilities. Total Productive Maintenance or TPM is the process of using machines, equipment, employees and supporting processes to maintain and improve the integrity of production and the quality of systems. It is a comprehensive approach to equipment maintenance that aims to achieve perfect production. That means no breakdowns, no small stops or slow running, no defects, and no accidents. How Total Productive Maintenance Works It works in six stages. 1. Improve the effectiveness of the existing equipment. 2. Develop an autonomous maintenance program. 3. Develop a schedule maintenance program. 4. Conduct training and develop information system. 5. Develop early asset management program for newer equipment. 6. Continue practice 8 pillars of total productive maintenance. Let's discuss 8 pillars of total productive maintenance. Total Productive Maintenance is built on 8 pillars based on the 5S methodology. The 5S methodology is an organizational method based on 5 Japanese words, and their meanings are, Seiri, which means organize, eliminating disturbance from the workspace, Seton, which means orderliness, ensure order by following a place for everything and everything in its place, Saizo, which means cleanliness, clean the workspace and keep it that way. Saikitsu, which means standardize. Standardize all work processes, making them consistent. Shitsuke, which means sustain. Constantly reinforcing the first four steps. I will discuss Five's methodology in a separate video in details. Check that video in the i button or in description. The eight pillars of total productive maintenance focus on proactive and preventive techniques to help in improving equipment reliability. The eight pillars are Autonomous maintenance, focused improvement, planned maintenance, quality management, early equipment management, training and education, safety, health and environment, and TPM in administration. Let's break down each pillar below. 1. Autonomous Maintenance Autonomous maintenance means ensuring your operators are fully trained on routine maintenance like cleaning, lubricating and inspecting, as well as placing that responsibility solely in their hands. Autonomous maintenance gives operators greater ownership of their equipment. It increases operators' knowledge of their equipment. Ensures equipment is well cleaned and lubricated. It identifies emergent issues before they become failures. Number 2. Focus Improvement It also known as the Japanese term Kaizen, focus improvement promotes the attitude of progressing towards zero losses and zero defects. Through small but continual tweaks to processes, the overall effectiveness and efficiency of the organization are developed. It also combines input from across the company, so teams can see how processes affect different departments. 3. Planned Maintenance Planned maintenance involves studying metrics like failure rates and historical downtime, and then scheduling maintenance tasks based on these predicted or measured failure rates. Planned maintenance significantly reduces instances of unplanned stop time. It enables most maintenance to be planned for times when equipment is not scheduled for production. Reduces inventory through better control of wear prone and failure prone parts. Pillar number 4. Quality maintenance. 
All the maintenance planning and strategizing in the world is meaningless if the quality of the maintenance being performed is inadequate. The quality maintenance pillar focuses on design error detection and prevention in the production process. It does this by proactively detecting the source of errors or defects. Processes become more reliable, producing products with the right specifications. The biggest benefit of quality maintenance is it reduces cost by prevents defected products from moving down the line, which could lead to a lot of rework. Pillar number 5. Early Equipment Management. Early equipment management takes the practical knowledge and overall understanding of manufacturing equipment which is acquired through total productive maintenance, and uses it to improve the design of new equipment. Designing equipment with the input of people who use it most allows suppliers to improve maintainability, and how the machine operates in future designs. 6. Training and Education Training and education fill the knowledge gaps necessary to achieve total productive maintenance goals. It applies to both operators, managers and maintenance personnel. They are intended to ensure everyone is on the same page with the total productive maintenance process. Operators develop skills to routinely maintain equipment and identify emerging problems. Maintenance personnel learn techniques for proactive and preventative maintenance. Managers are trained on total productive maintenance principles as well as on employee coaching and development. Pillar number 7. Safety, Health, and Environment. Maintaining a safe working environment means employees can perform their tasks in a safe place without health risks. To achieve this, any solutions introduced in the total productive maintenance process should always consider safety, health, and the environment. When employees come to work in a safe environment each day, their attitude tends to be better, since they don't have to worry about this significant aspect. This can increase productivity in a noticeable manner. 8. Total Productive Maintenance in Administration a good total productive maintenance program is only as good as the sum of its parts. Total productive maintenance should look beyond the plant floor, by addressing and eliminating areas of waste in administrative functions like, order processing, procurement, and scheduling. Administrative functions are often the first step in the entire manufacturing process, so it's important they are streamlined and waste-free. The advantages of total productive maintenance are 1. Fewer breakdowns 2. A safer workplace and 3. Better overall performance If you want to read in details or download the PDF, go through the link in the description. You can support my work by liking the video and subscribe to my channel.